Hi, welcome back to my channel, it's Francesca and I'm here today. I'm here to talk about how the audience have three ways of responding, responding to media text. The first theory I want to talk about is the reception theory and that was made by Stuart Hall. The audience have three ways of responding, responding to media text. These are preferred, negotiated, neg I can't say it at all. Whatever that word means, and oppositional. As for Deadpool, Deadpool has many of these but I'm going to focus on one. Deadpool's preferred of there is a lot of use of violence and weapons. This is telling the audience that violence is alright in typical situations, like when someone's hurt you, when someone's talked about you, slagged you off, you know, the, the, the usual. Mm -hmm. But the negitating one would be that it's okay to use violence in some kind of circumstances, you know, the little ones, but not too over the top, like you don't use violence in them, like arguing, just face to face arguing, that would be it. The oppositional of this is violence is not, is, isn't the answer to everything that you should do. This might make kids feel like the answer to um, arguments or what people have said about him. They have to use violence in a way to show that they are the dominant one. There's also another theory which is called uses and gratification. This was made by two blokes named Bloomer and Katz. They came up with this um, theory of that audiences watch, read and listen to media texts. Now these, these media texts are, are separated into four different topics. They are diversion, aka distraction, identification, surveillance and interaction. Social interaction. Social Sorry. interaction, <laughs> yeah. The diversion would be Wade and the fin Vanessa's relationship as people have mu have that really much in common like I bet you like 50% of the universe is in a relationship except the, identifi the identification is how Wade has cancer as well a lot of families have to go through this kind of crisis each each year or every day with one part of their family or themselves the social interaction will be how Deadpool has a hashtag hashtag Deadpool and this will let people tweet uh, or give their opinions on actual the film and then other people from like different countries or planets can talk about it. The surveillance would be actually getting to know Deadpool's backstory instead of actually having to go to read the comic, uh, comic books and then you can get the full story of it in the film and you don't feel like you're missing out on something, you don't know what's happening here, you don't know what's happening there, you get the full story of it. The next theory I would like to talk about is two step slow theory. This is this theory is just by some people within our culture who are opinion leaders. This can be a famous person or someone who influenced you. As for me, it would be John Cena. He his tagline is hustle tip, loyalty, respect. Is that right? <laughs> um, as well, I would go and follow that because I'm a big fan of his, so I will go and do that. As well, other people's might be, you know, Stephen Hawkins or <laughs> a Disney character, they'll go and follow their you know, <laughs> their things. But it also can be from a group of people that you know or your peers around you. It can also be suggested by people in a classroom, work, or just on the street, really. With this theory, the audience is seen as passive because they take on the board, they take on board the message that is being sent to them by the person <laughs> who influenced them. This model makes the audience look, look submissive. Also, this theory supports film and TV critics. We are more likely to watch a TV or film if the reviews are good, but we would like kick it to the curb if um, we got to see a bad review on it because really who... Deadpool uses, uses these theories in their posters. So they use different taglines, like this one that I know is, wait till you get a load of me. That might sound rude or awkward, but that's dead for you. <laughs> this will actually make the audience see this film as a comedy film. You can see it's an action film already, and you can, it makes the audience more aware what, the, what kind of film they will watch and make it more engaging for them to watch it. Really, these taglines describe the film and what, what actually kind of film it is, like I've just said. Um, it's, with this tagline, it's kind of describing the film to be amazing and it's going to be so over the top that no one else can limit it. Finally, I'd like to talk about the hypothomic, hypothomic needle theory. 
that media texts are injected into their audiences, not by like, you know, your okay ones. <laughs> it's, actually, it's actually injected into your passive model because the audiences don't question what they're being told. This kind of technique is usually this kind of technique is always used in advertisement because you can always easily influence someone. As people can be seen as distinction. This I think it's something like that. By what the media produces. Deadpool as far where they use violence and drug use, uh, where they talk about drugs, so that can make kids want to actually um, do drugs or commit violence, and that could cause them to have prison prison conviction. Thank you for watching. If you really like this video, please comment, like, and subscribe.